Guys, welcome again to Livingstone Huddle. Glad you guys could join us again this morning. And I uh, just want to encourage you guys again, keep tuning in and we'll have our devotions going. Uh, this Sunday, we still have our live service going at 9.30. So please tune in to that. It's going to be on Facebook and also on uh, our website, which will, will shift you over to YouTube and that channel over there. But whichever platform you guys need to use, it'll be 9.30 uh, this Sunday. That's still happening. And uh, so we'd love you guys to join us and write in too. We'd love to respond to you guys uh, just so everybody can see who's there and, uh, you know, to feel like other people are watching along with you. Um, also, we still have the churches open. Um, there has been some stuff, you know, uh, a while back that's been said about uh, uh, what needs to happen, shutdowns, uh, who can be out. The church is still allowed to be open. And uh, Sean, our, Sean and I are still here for you guys. So if you guys want to come in and you guys need some counsel, uh, you guys need some help, uh, let us know. You guys can call in if you don't want to come in in person. We're still open from Tuesday to Friday, 8 to 3. And so the church is still here for you guys. Uh, continue to go out, help out your neighbors, looking at who needs help out there. And uh, we'll just keep encouraging you guys and, and uh, being able to do Lord's work and be the church outside of the building. And so I'm going to go ahead and pray, and then Sean's going to go into the devotions that we have for you guys today. So... Lord, we love you, and we just thank you so much for uh, the positives and the neat things we get to see that you're doing with bringing families together. And I love seeing these dads out with their kids riding bikes and just that time they're getting to spend. Lord, I lift up the people that are in, in hard times, especially the ones that have been laid off and, and wondering what the future. Lord, that you would just comfort them and calm them um, and know that, that you are the one that all the resources come from and that they can absolutely trust in you. And uh, Lord, we're just thankful that we get to be a church outside of the building right now uh, to the people. I pray you continue to fill us with your boldness like you did with even the first church. And uh, that we'd be able to reach out to our neighbors and uh, share the gospel with them, share the hope that we have in you. And uh, Lord, that this would just be a blessing for you and that we would be, uh, those children make you proud during this time. And Lord, we just ask that you would teach us through your word and comfort us and, and uh, help us be excited about what you're doing and about your ways, Lord. Just pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning, church. Glad that you're with us today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I just want to remind you that uh, you can uh, like and share this video, and it'll post up on your own news feed, and other people will have the opportunity to be able to be encouraged as well. And um, as you know, it's my, it's my prayer that we as a church together are blessed um, by this time that we get to spend together. And uh, I want to I want to re-mention again that we've taken the made the decision to entitle these daily devotionals the Living Stone Huddle uh, because I believe that church is like a team sport, and in that um, teams when they're when they're out in the field they huddle together, and in that time of huddling there is encouragement and there is instruction. Uh, and that's what these daily devotionals are intended to be, a time of encouragement and a time of instruction to you from God's Word, which will in turn, I believe, keep us like-minded and working together as a team, as the body of Christ. So today, uh, I would like to uh, read uh, to you from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 23. And the Apostle Paul writes to the church, and he says, and whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not to men. Not too many years ago, um, I was having some medical problems. And some of the symptoms that I was experiencing as a result of the medical problem that I had was that my heart uh, would unexpectedly stop beating, and then it would restart. And when it restarted, uh, it, my heart would, would beat rapidly and it would make me feel like I was having a heart attack and um, uh, like my heart was literally going to explode through my chest. Fortunately, um, the doctors, by the grace of God, um, they were able to find out what the problem was and ever since then I've been able to be successfully treated. But through that experience, I became intimately aware of the fact that you have to have your whole heart working <laughs> the way that God has designed it. Uh, you see, when the heart is not working the way that it's supposed to, it can cause a bunch of other problems, serious problems that can be life-threatening. 
And the point of me telling you this is because I think the same is, 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 is potential, the same potential for serious problems that, that, that affect our whole life are also true when we don't do what God has called us to do with our whole heart. The Apostle Paul, in the, in the verses leading up to verse 23 that I just read to you, uh, he gave this command. He says, he said, he said, wives, submit to your husbands. Husbands, love your wives. Children, obey your parents. Fathers, do not provoke your children. And bond servants in all things, obey your masters. And then he goes on to say, and in all these things, do it heartily. Do it heartily. Whatever you do, do it heartily, meaning literally with your whole heart. As, the, as to the Lord and not to men. And to do something with our whole heart is to not be in a place of compromise, to not compromise. It is to be all in. It is to not be holding back anything no matter what. Now, I don't know about you, but I've noticed that lots of advertisers will use this word hearty to describe how good their product is in, in telling us that... Um, in, 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 in by saying that it's hardy, they're telling us that um, nothing we desire has been held back from us with the product that they're trying to sell us, the product that they're trying to get us to buy. For example, Campbell's Chunky Soup is, is one we're probably all familiar with, as they for years have tried to get us to buy their soups by telling us to savor the hearty flavor of Campbell's Chunky Soup. Now, God calls us, you guys know this, into a love relationship with Him. That's the relationship that we've been able to enter into Him through His Son, Jesus Christ, our faith in Him. It's a love relationship. And, and, and He has told us that, that we're not to share our heart, our love for Him, that place that He deserves with anything or anyone else. Therefore, we are to be wholly His. God's Word teaches us this. Additionally, God calls us to live a life of purity, a life surrendered to His will. And we've been called to obey His instructions and to obey His commands and to do them and keep them with our whole heart. That's the message that Paul gives us. Because in whatever we are doing, it's for Him. It's unto Him. And the fact of the matter is, is when we compromise, when we are not living for God and loving God with our whole heart, serious problems can arise. It has been said that compromise is Satan's playground. And that anything that we keep back from God, Satan is sure to get. So today, I pray that we would let God search our heart and reveal to us any part that we've held back from Him. And and today I pray that whatever God has us doing, whether it's in our relationship with our spouse, our children, our employer, I pray that we would be all in, that we would not hold back as we remember that we are truly doing it wholeheartedly for God. And so, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you. May He be gracious to you and may the Lord... Lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen and God bless.